Hey everyone, and on today's episode of Pinch Owl's Garage, we're back at it on the Patreon Jetta, and this time we're gonna replace a failed alternator. So let's get to work because this is Pinch Owl's Garage. Alright, so for the Mark IV Jetta 12 valve VR6, uh, the 24 valve might be the same, but I'm not 100% sure. One thing is you got to get your car in service mode. And what that means is that the front end has to come off partially. Uh, so you do have to take the front bumper off. That is 100% required to get your car in service mode. Once you've taken the bumper off, you need to take off the 10 millimeter that sits here and here then you have four 13 millimeters on your crossbar so there's one here and one there there and there those four pretty much hold the entire core support in place what's going to happen is that we're going to pull the core support forward and then it's going to kind of dangle a little bit and that's going to give you the space you need so you can pull the alternator out uh, other needed tools is another 13 for your um, tensioner here. I believe you're gonna need a 13 as well for the alternator bolts as well, but we'll get to that point in just a moment. So what we did next is unbolt the three 13s right here that hold the tensioner. I found a really long bolt right here. Uh, I think this was a sway bar bolt. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a 13. And what we do is that this is going to pull the tensioner and loosen the belt out for us to un to remove the belt itself. Now, the one thing I don't like about VR6 tensioners, they go on super tight. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the belt is held on very, very, very tightly. So be careful, guys. Um, and don't overdo it when you tension these um, because you can cause maybe some, you might damage your brand new tensioner or damage your belt. So, what we're gonna do next is remove the belt. We'll show you guys how to route these. It's not that hard to route this. It's just, it's harder to remove it. I might actually, might unjust unbolt it completely, see what. That helps me out. There we go, yeah, that worked. Okay, so now with removing the tensioner, it reveals pretty much the two 13s that are needed for the alternator. One here and one here. Need a short 13 for that. So I got the bottom bolt removed. Top one's next. Sometimes they're a little tight, sometimes they're a little loose. See if my little impact gun here will get it out fast. Thanks to McDobin! There we go. Nice and quick. <laughs> now you see the alternator pretty much fell um, right there. So now we need to be able to yank it out. It's in a near impossible spot to get it out. So that's the whole point of getting the front end in service mode. So let's do that. You guys can see how now by unbolting 
the top one and loosening the bottom ones, we gave myself a pretty big gap right here. All the way across, all the way around. Now this allows us to go down here, unplug the main wiring, take the 13 off of here. So you take this guy off. And this guy right here off. Unplug it and take out the alternator. Now that we unplug the alternator, and now we see the problem, the top right here broke off the alternator. So we got to get it fished kind of out towards us like this and over. We got a replacement alternator here. Hopefully this guy doesn't break. Typically what I do is I feed the bottom one first. Because it's kind of hard to align these guys up. There you go. Get a couple threads going. And then kind of like slam that one in place. And then what you might have to do is get like a little rubber mallet and push it in so it slides further in. So using the power of the rubber mallet and some manly force, got it in. go nice and snug Reattach your wiring down below. Make sure you put your nut back for the main power wire to be plugged in. Make sure that guy goes in snug. And 
now to put your belt back on tensioner goes on first sorry let's see here like this yep Now do not tighten your tensioner or bolt on your tensioner 100%. The slop actually is beneficial to you. Okay. So First thing you have to do is make sure, um, let me see here, yeah, okay, we're all good here, so the only issue I have is this guy, um, I'm gonna loosen the tensioner just a tad. Not too much. The way it goes, it goes underneath and over. Okay. And then you pull this one over like that. There you go. Oof. Can't wait till I uh, relocate this power steering because it's in the way. We need it gone. That's the next thing I gotta do after this DIY. Make sure this is all fixed before I start doing other mods. least remove the bolt for the tensioner and then your tension should be all back on the belt should be nicely tensioned and now double check everything else before you fire up your car uh, make sure you didn't remove something that wasn't supposed to be removed Like I gotta get this one wire connected, so I'll be right back. So, um, we in reinstalled pretty much the alternator, tensioner, found out why it stopped working because we had a bracket break. Maybe a little bit more than that, but we'll see. We're gonna fire it up and see if I don't get the alternator light anymore, and let's see what's going on. So now we're inside the Jetta. Nice. Uh, so we used to have a light right here for our battery due to bad voltage and it's no longer there. 
uh, I have a coolant light and the wiper light kicking on and an EPC light. I gotta do some really deep digging for the EPC, but uh, the coolant and the wiper light, I'm gonna remove in just a moment. Uh, I gotta give you, show you guys how to remove those lights when you do a coolant ball delete in the car. But as of right now, the car is officially idling way better than before. Um, and we no longer have a battery light kicking on so that solved that problem now now the next step is to figure out this light and why am I getting it because I know it's not the throttle because that's working great I know it's not the fuel tank that's working great so I'll figure it out and I'll be the next diagnosis maybe with you guys live on my patreon channel thank you for watching this quick DIY and how to install an alternator in a VR6 Mark IV. Um, and as always, if you guys enjoy what we do, like and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys can tell know when we get back on and post new videos as well. Become a Patreon member because that's how all this new content is now being created uh, due to for Patreon. We still have that bad boy over there to be shown and shown to you guys soon, but not yet. Thank you and have a wonderful day, everyone. Peace out.